Here's a little box of goodies. This is 22 long rifle. One of the uh, calibers of ammunition is impossible to find these days. Um, this is a box of random collectible 22 long rifle and some other odds and ends. Uh, paper shot shells. A box of 32 Smith and Wesson long. I got probably four or five years ago. I've had it sitting around forever. Uh, most of these boxes are full. This is an empty one here. This Winchester Super X 22. I think this is 22 long. Yeah. Some of these are 22 long, 22 long rifle. It's another 22 long Western Super X. This has a few rounds in it. Most of these are actually full boxes. This clean bore, this is a full one. Basically unopened. Uh, same with this one up here. <coughs> There's another 22 long rifle. That's full. This one's full. This one's half full. Peters high velocity film coat. They all had some kind of coating on them. The clean bore had lubricated bullets. So these have some kind of film coat. Uh, Western Super Match. This is a full box as well. So it's pretty. Uh, Pretty cool. I really like these old 22 boxes. Um, you know, there are a lot of people collect them. Pretty much any old ammo box uh, people will collect. So, it's a full box. Um, we got these copper heads here. That's a full box as well. I don't know how rare some of these are. This one's missing the end. Um, another Western Super Match, Winchester Super Speed, 22 long rifle. That one's almost full as well. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys because these are, I've always thought, older ammunition, especially older cartridge boxes, to be pretty cool. They're obviously pretty collectible to some people. Um, these old, oh, this is a Western shot shell, 20 gauge. Pretty cool. Some of these actually have what load they're. Yeah, two and an eighth, eight shot, one ounce, something like that. Yeah, two, yeah, two and a half actually. Anyways, um, I always thought it was kind of cool to look at these. I, I I love old shells, old boxes. I have some old, uh, lots of different old ammo. But uh, this is stuff I, I don't plan on shooting. Uh, it's been sitting around forever, so I'm actually going to get rid of it. But uh, I just figured I'd make a little video to show you guys some of these old shells quick before I end up selling them. Old Remington. Actually, has Remington UMC stamped around the, uh, the base. That's kind of cool. Nitro Long Range Express. Clean bore. Everything made by Remington back in the day was, looks like it was clean bore. Uh, but like I said, this is like a full box of 32 Smith & Wesson Long here. Doesn't have the ends to it. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. They're pretty corroded in there. But, once again, it's just mainly just the collectible boxes. Um, the 22 long rifle ammo is actually pretty good yet, and I I think it would probably shoot, but that's up to whoever decides to buy it. Um, yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys. I like these old boxes. They're all a little bit different. They're all kind of uh, cool in their own way. Kind of cool if you had a display case, you could put them all in, um, kind of show them off in your man cave uh, but I just don't have the room for them uh, I just got too much other stuff so they're going bye bye but uh, yeah it's kind of cool there's a Peters what does that say 3840 kind of an odd cartridge there's some tiny little thing here I don't know what this is can't even read that on there it doesn't even want to focus. I don't know. I can't read it. This might be 32 Smith & Wesson. Yeah, it's 32 Smith & Wesson there. Yep. Cool. Bunch of old shells. 
or most of the, most of the Peters or Remington shells for shotgun shells. We got Winchester Super X 410s, long range. That's a Western. Most of these are Super X Winchesters. I don't know, Western. I guess Super X was Western. Winchester used to be Western or something. It says Winchester on the. Maybe that is actually Winchester. Yeah, it does say Western. Interesting. So I wonder if Winchester bought out Western at one point. Who knows? Maybe they're two different companies. I don't know. They look the same. They had the same Super X stamping on there. Whatever. But cool little decorative boxes. Um, I don't know. You're just, you know, nowadays you're so used to buying 22 shells in those 100 round plastic containers or the, you know, value packages. These little decorative boxes kind of don't really exist anymore. But something to kind of think about collecting, I guess. But like I said, I have too much other stuff. I don't have time to collect this all. But let somebody else enjoy it. So, just wanted to show you guys.